Hi guys, welcome back to art. So today we're going to be continuing our lesson on pop art. So this time we're going to be learning about an artist named Andy Warhol. Um, and he did art called pop art. So I'm just going to read a little bit about him and then I'll show you a quick picture. Um, but basically he was the rock star of the art world. He created pop art, one of the most fun styles in modern art. He was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he loved to do art and he loved to color when he was a kid. He did get his art degree and then he went on to get a job in advertising and um, he worked for a magazine um, where he kind of worked with a lot of things in, at the time that were popular. So things in magazines are usually popular, objects or people or things like that. Um, so our Andy Warhol wanted to show that art could be found in signs, advertisements, and packaging all around us. He made pictures of dollar bills, Coca-Cola, bottles, and soup cans. And this art became known as pop art because it was based off popular culture. So one of the most famous things that he did were these Campbell's soup cans. So he painted them, but he made them all like super bright colors and he made a bunch of them. And he did this with all of his paintings. So he did also, he did like famous people sometimes too, but he didn't make them like normal colors. He made them like super bright and colorful colors, kind of like the strawberry picture that I have on the screen here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a project based off of the artist named Andy Warhol. So you guys need to grab a blank piece of paper and a pencil so we can get started drawing. Okay, so the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to take your paper and we're going to divide it into sections because what he did was he did the same object but he painted it more than one time in all different colors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna fold it in half. And by folding it in half, you're just finding the middle of the paper, okay? Folding it in half and then you're gonna unfold it. And where that crease is, is the middle of the paper, okay? So, now what I want you guys to do I want you to think of something that you think is popular or something that is popular to you or something that you like. Could be anything. So it could be like a drink, it could be a type of food, it could be an object, maybe like you love ballet and you wanna do ballet shoes or it could be a sports thing like a basketball or a baseball. Um, what else? It could be candy, it could be clothing, it could be shoes, anything that you want it to be. But here's the thing, I want you guys to draw it kind of in a very simple way. So not, not super detailed, but detailed enough that you can tell what it is. So in my example, I just did a strawberry. I like strawberries, so that's why I chose a strawberry. Um, it does not have to be a strawberry that you guys draw. You guys draw what you want to draw, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your object, whatever it may be, two times. So one time on one side. So here's my strawberry. I'm just kind of gonna draw it kind of fast and kind of simple. So one time on one side, and then you're gonna try to draw it the exact same way on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try your best to make it look the same. Okay, so there are my two strawberries. I wanted them to look pretty similar, and I think they kind of do. One of them looks a little bigger, but that's okay. Okay, your next step is to outline, which is what I always do. If you are not outlining, that is all right too. Okay, 
So those are my strawberries. Now, before you start coloring in, I want you guys to try and color in with colors that are not like the real colors. So abstract is what we call this. So that's why in my original one, by the way, I use markers for this. If you are using crayon, that is totally fine. So I actually colored my strawberry pink, the top part blue, and then this background green. This one was yellow, green, and purple. Why did I choose these colors? No reason, I just chose random colors. So that's exactly what you guys are gonna do. So you know what, for my first strawberry, I think I'm gonna color that one in green. The whole strawberry is gonna be green. So I'm using my marker. If you are using markers, guys, I want you to practice coloring in nice and neat in one direction, staying inside the lines the best you can, not scribbling all over, not going like this and this way and this way. You're gonna try and color in nice and neat. And sometimes when you color with marker, you have to color kind of slow. Otherwise it does turn out to look kind of scribbly. Okay, so coloring in nice and neat in one direction like this. Okay. Makes sense, guys? Okay. So, once I'm done with that, I would then choose a color for the top part of my strawberry. The stem and the little leaf thing. And then I would also choose a different color for the background. It does not matter what you choose. Totally up to you. I think I'm going to do pink for this. Same thing. Color in nice and neat, nice and slow. Try and cover all that white space. Okay. And then I would also do the same thing with my background in whatever color I choose. I think I'll use yellow. And again, one direction, nice and neat. And then finish that whole thing up. I also forgot to add in my seeds to my strawberry. So I think I'll just do that now. That gives it a lot more detail. Okay. I'm going to put my original one back up so you can see the finished one. But there we have it. Um, so again, I hope you guys had a fun time making this project. I'd love to see what objects you chose as your object for your pop art. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!